Kulkarni here. In this video, we will talk about chemical stoichiometry. We will also discuss some new terms like mole, molar mass and Avogadro's number and there is some calculation in converting molar mass into moles and moles to atoms. So let's begin. So what is a mole? Just like we have one dozen egg equals to 12 as a number, a mole is simply a counting number. But how much it is? Mole is equal to a certain number of particles and that particle number is given right here. It is 6.022 10 to the 23rd particles and it's called Avogadro's number. That's the scientist who came up with this idea. The other term is molar mass. And what is a molar mass? It is simply the mass of one mole of any chemical substance. So let's see how do we calculate molar masses for substance. Here is the first example asking for formula mass or which means molar mass for calcium phosphate. Let's get the formula for calcium phosphate first which I know you all know how to get the formula. It is Ca3 and we need 2 phosphate so PO42. The next thing is we need to find out how many atoms of each of the elements are present in the molecule. So we have calcium, phosphorus and oxygen, three different atoms. And if we look in the formula, we have three atoms of calcium, two for phosphorus and then we have eight for oxygen. So we are going to find out the atomic masses for each of the atom. Calcium atomic mass is 40.08 from the periodic table. Phosphorus is 30.97 and oxygen is 16.00. Well, we are going to actually multiply each of this and then we simply add. When we add all that, what we get is the molar mass which in this case is 310.18 and a unit for that is atomic mass unit or we call it as AMU. So that was easy right? Let's do one more. This is formula mass for barium chlorate and it says hexahydrate. Now I am going to keep this separately and I'll tell you why in a minute. So the formula is BA ClO3, we need two of those and then 6H2O. When you are finding the molar mass of a hydrate, it's easier to consider the molar mass of water separate than the molar mass of the compound. So each molecule of water will contain two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. When we add that, that comes out to be 18.02 and six times that will give me the mass for six molecules of water. Now how do we get the mass for barium chlorate? Barium is one atom, chlorine is two and oxygen is six and we are simply going to multiply that with the atomic mass for each of the atom. So barium is 137.33 Chlorine is 35.45 and I got oxygen 16.00. So I'm going to add all of these and also I'm going to add for 6H2O which will be 6 times 18.02. And when you add all these things what we get is the total molar mass which is 412.00. So, now you know how to find the molar mass for any chemical substance. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will learn more things in our next video.